All right, how's it going, guys? It is Jared or Dreamers from Designs Academy. How you doing? Um, today I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial on an Overwatch banner. Um, you know, I kind of just came up with this really quickly. I was thinking about playing Overwatch. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch and um, put together this quick little banner. Thought I'd show you guys how I made it. <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick, so excuse me. Right now, my voice is still, my throat still hurts a little bit, but all right. So I, I put together this really quickly, as you can see, if you play Overwatch, you know, you got King's Arrow in the background. You can do this with pretty much any hero you want. I got Tracer here, I did Widow, and uh, I did um, Genji as well. So, you know, you can you can pretty much do this with any hero. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how I did it. And I'm going to jump right in here. So I'm going to make a new document file me. It's going to be 1500 by 500. This is a, a header size for Twitter. Um, it kind of fits with anything, but you can make a wallpaper or whatever else you want. So I'm just going to click OK here. And I'm going to start by dragging in my King's Row background here. And I'm just going to scale it up until I think I like it about here. It's probably good. <clears throat> Now I'm just gonna name this background BG background. Um, all right, next next thing I'm gonna drag in my hero. I'm gonna use Genji here. Uh, I'm just gonna place him a little bit over on the right. I'm not gonna make him too big, but just enough so that you can see everything here. I'm gonna line that and. I like the background right now. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go up to my adjustments and add a curves. It looks like that a little like grid um, with the line on it, a little squiggle, and I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring the lighter side up a little bit as well. And it's not a huge difference, but it's just you know bringing out those lights and stuff. Click that under the background, and I'm gonna add um, a gradient map on top of Genji, just so he kind of matches the orange glow of the background of King's Row. I'm gonna go ahead and clip a gradient map onto Genji. Now I'm gonna be sampling the colors from the background here, so you gotta make sure that your mask isn't selected, because anytime you try to select a color from the mask, it's just gonna be white. So you gotta make sure that you click on this little guy here. And I'm gonna double click on this here and I'm gonna grab this dark red kind of orange crimson whatever color and I'm gonna grab this orange up here from this guy like that is about right and I'm gonna set it to soft light and I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit probably around 70 or 80 75 is probably good <clears throat> and uh, yeah just like adds that warm warm color to match the background a little better and I'm gonna add a layer style on top of Genji so I'm gonna go to FX and I'm gonna add a drop shadow and I'm really bad with this little angle thing so you can just actually click and drag the shadow around I'm just gonna move it a little bit to his left and down and then I'm gonna crank up that size and the opacity down and then I'm gonna add an inner glow um, keep it white, opacity 100%, and just turn up the size. And then I'm going to have the blending mode be set to overlay. Um, so, you know, it just adds that little, like, glow on the edges. Looks nice. I like it. Um, we could actually probably even add a gradient map, but it might be unnecessary. I guess we'll see. Um, I didn't do it on the last one, but you know, I thought about it. What, did I, what have I done? Okay. Um, fix that. Yeah, you could probably go for it. I'd say, you know, it's up to you, but I'll, I'll put it on there. Um, next, I'm going to add some soft brushes in the background. And if you know me, I'm a f soft brush fanatic. You know, I love the soft brushes. Um, you know, just a soft round brush. I like to make nice, large, soft brushes, and I just like to sample background colors, put them everywhere, 
and even off my render here a little bit and I'm just gonna turn down that opacity just a little bit add a little bit of color a little pop you know I'm gonna do the same thing I'm actually gonna name this layer brushes I'm gonna do the same thing but with the white soft brush only and I'm gonna kind of do my little zigzag pattern so down up and then down again and up. I'm gonna set that to overlay and turn that down a little bit <clears throat> one thing I like to do as well is select everything or you can also do this by selecting control a and then right click stroke inside and then put around five or six is okay for this and I'm gonna set that to overlay on the background as well it's a nice light border something I do <clears throat> all right um next up let's throw some text on there um, the overwatch font that they use is big noodle titling um, oblique you can just put whatever your name is on there and this is one thing I see a lot of people do with the newer 2d styles is they like to tuck the text a little bit behind their object render whatever so you can kind of see the last you can make out the letter perfectly fine but it's tucked behind just a little bit um, I like the oblique how it's kind of at an angle but I'm gonna do it a little bit more so you can do that by pressing control T for transform and then holding control and shift to edit these anchor points or the points or whatever and then you just drag it to the side a little bit and you can lean it over as far as you want but I'm just gonna do it a little bit here um, sweet so I'm just gonna tuck that Y maybe a little bit of M probably not but a little bit behind Genji and I'm gonna add a layer style I'm gonna add a gradient map and I'm gonna make the text green because that's kind of the Genji theme here um, so it's like a nice kind of between green and yellow up here but it's really vibrant um, saturated color so I'm gonna add I'm actually going to put that on this end. Just do a little switcheroo here. I'm going to add a little darker, darker version of that there, and maybe a little bit lighter in the middle. Maybe lighten this up a little bit more. And I'm going to add a drop shadow on that as well. And of course, you know, I'm bad with the angles, so you can kind of just drag it around. Un uncheck use global lighting if you're going to have different drop shadows for different things. Um, because if you don't uncheck it, it's going to use the same angle for everything, every drop shadow you have. So I'm just going to drag that down, straight down. <coughs> Kill the size. I'm going to also add an inner glow um, on that. Set that to overlay. And crank up the size just a little bit. I'm actually going to turn the opacity back down. Um, might decrease the distance a little bit on this, but it's a bit much in the opacity. And I'm going to hold Alt to duplicate my text and Shift, and I'm going to drag it straight down. And I'm going to change it. You can add a little subtext, you know, whatever you like. Um, say tutorials and more. right there sweet so <clears throat> one thing I did with this is I added more brushes around the outside and I'm also gonna uh, yeah I added a little bit more brushes around the outside behind the render um, just using colors from the render so like this little light blue metallic gray um, browns whites these and I'm just gonna put them everywhere they don't have to be right behind the render, but that's how I just like to start, just right behind it, and then I'm gonna kind of move out a little bit more, even maybe even a little green, but only close to him because I noticed, I, and I tried this with the other one, that if you take this green brush and you push it out a little further um, before you decrease the opacity, it just kind of looks off a little bit. Um, 
so I'm going to only be using these whites and browns. Um, I could even probably push this green a little bit behind the text. Name this color brushes. And I'm going to decrease this opacity here. Um, you can use a CC if you'd like to. Um, I did um, here. It's just a CC from a CC pack that I got. You can use it if you'd like to. Um, yeah, slap your favorite CC on there. I'm going to angle this text a little bit, just like in the other one. Maybe increase that, what I did earlier with angling it. Um, and yeah, so that's just a quick um, little tutorial on how you can put together an Overwatch render banner. Um, it's quick, it's simple, you know, you can do a lot more with this if you'd like to, but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, put them down in the comment section below, and yeah, it's been Jared from Designs Academy, and we'll see you guys later. Peace. Alright guys, it's Jared from the future here. I forgot to include this one part, so I'm just gonna edit this in really quickly. Um, you can just... Add an Overwatch logo. I forgot to do this because I just saw it in the preview and while I'm editing this. So I'm, you just got to get an Overwatch logo. Just found one online. Um, make it white. Um, convert it to smart object. And I'm just going to scale it down to however, wherever I think is good. Put it there. And I'm going to go and set it to overlay. You can just turn the opacity down. Um, So yeah, you can you can probably put that somewhere that looks better, but you know, there's that. All right.